besties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and I'm super excited for today's video because we are testing yet another Instagram brand. So, I don't know about you guys, but lately I've been getting so many ads for Outcast clothing, whether that is on like my Instagram and actual ads, or I've been seeing so many influencers tagging them and wearing them. So, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my unsponsored, real, honest, and raw opinion on Outcast clothing to see what the quality is like in real life, if it is worth the hype, and if it is worth the price because some of these items are pricey. But before we get into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is June's Journey. So, as you can tell by the background, I have moved into a new apartment, which is so exciting for me because I hated, hated, hated my old one, and I love this one. This right here is a walk-in robe that I can't wait to share with you guys. It's really messy right now. But anyway, point is, when I moved in for a couple of days, I had nothing to do because I unpacked all my boxes, but I didn't have any work to do. So, I did what I do best, which was play games on my phone because it stops me from online shopping and June's Journey has been my new favorite and they have been kind enough to sponsor today's video. So June's Journey is of course free to download. I mean it's me. I'm a cheapskate. Of course I'm only gonna recommend free games. And so what this game is is that the main character is trying to solve the murder of her sister and along the way she finds out lots of hidden secrets about her family. So in the game you find objects and it's in the 1920s like glamour theme which I absolutely adore. Their style is all on point. And along the way June tends to solve some of her friends problems too. I don't want to give away too much because I don't want to spoil the game because it is really fun. But this is available on iOS and Android and also on PC through Facebook games. And honestly, because this is set in a different time period, I always feel super relaxed after playing this game because like I'm taken out of 2022 and all the stresses of honestly moving. And instead I am in the 1920s just finding some cute little items. So I literally cannot recommend this enough. I will have the link to download below. Be sure to check out this game and let me know what you think because I love it. Thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. Sponsorships help me to be able to continue to make these style of videos for you guys. So I really appreciate them and I appreciate you guys for checking out June's Journey. As I said in the beginning of this video, this brand can be quite pricey. So I actually got a lot of these items in the sale because I just could not afford to buy lots of full price items. But this first item was the only full price like new item that I got and it retails for $89.95 and honestly I I mean look I've been looking forward to this dress. I mean, I don't really go clubbing anymore, but when I do, I'm sure I will one day in the future, if this looks cute as it does in the photos, this is gonna be the dress. This is the dress. Oh, I know it looks, okay, it looks a little crazy. It does look really crazy, but like picture it when you have it on, this will all be tighter and covering your boobs and making boobs look amazing. And then it has sleeves on it. And then it has these little open details on the skirt here. And I adore this. I'm intrigued how this is going to look when on because on the model, it looks amazing, but her boobs aren't as big as mine so I just hope that mine will fit in okay and then all of the strapping will keep everything secure because we really don't need we don't need a nip slip we don't need a nip slip the quality on this is actually really good it's all it's a nice thick material it hasn't been double lined but it is thick and it doesn't look like it's going to be see-through which is absolutely amazing I also hope that it's long enough because I'm quite tall so hopefully it's long enough but let's go put this weird contraption on and see what we think this is what the dress looks like on so this is the front and this is the back I'm still sorting out my filming area so this is just temporary I literally moved into this home two days ago so yeah this is the back and I adore this dress okay I think it's absolutely stunning like I really was standing in the mirror before like damn who is she but my titties have popped out three times in the past five minutes like this, this is not really made for girls with bigger boobs and I mine not massive but they are kind of somewhat large I guess and so what you are relying on is all of these string bits because these are all connected like all in the front here and then on the back that's one string so if it becomes a little bit loose so then this moves to the side and suddenly you're flashing you're flashing. But overall, I do really love this design. I was worried about the length, as you guys heard me say earlier. Why am I holding my belly like I'm pregnant? Definitely not. But I was worried about the length, as you guys saw earlier, and it fits me well lengthwise. Also, a positive is that you're able to still wear underwear with this. I know that might sound really silly, but sometimes with these cutout details, you kind of feel like you can't. But I just like push my underwear down a little bit. I normally wear, I'm wearing notes, it's not the best to see, but like I normally wear it about here, but I've just pushed it down a little so you can still wear it and not feel like uncomfortable not wearing it, and it won't come up on the sides here. So, love this. Let's try the next item. As I said earlier, the rest of these items were all on sale because I'm Sure, as you can understand, I can't buy multiple items that are $90. My bank account would not um, be able to handle that. So this next item was fairly cheap because it was on sale and it was $26.99. But the photo 
it still looks to be very on trend. This is the dress. I actually didn't realize how much I love the color blue in clothing items until I was doing my closet. I've got everything color coordinated and there's a lot of blue in there. But this is the dress. So first of all, the top is gorgeous. It's this tie up feature. So you can do it as a halter neck or you can crisscross it. It's meant to be worn as a halter neck, but y'all know me. I love to add a little crisscross dimension when it's not meant to be there. And then it has these tie up features on the back. It has this little silver circle and goes down to be a full length midi dress. Now the quality on this isn't as good as the other dress. It is kind of a cheaper material and I'm kind of worried about the hemming just on the skirt part here. It's really cheap elastic and not on very well so I'm just worried that like once I put it on it may split but in saying that, this was a quarter of the price of the other item, which is really good. So, I love the design of it. I think it's gorgeous. We'll just have to see how this bit goes when we put it on. This is what this dress looks like on. So, this is the front and this is the back. And I had to change angles here because I really wanted to include my heels in this. I'm wearing these gorgeous white heels from Shein and I feel like this is such a gorgeous outfit. Oh my god, my titties almost fell out again. But I feel like it's such a gorgeous outfit. I was so convinced that this was going to look bad. I have a mirror here. I don't know if y'all can see or not, but I have a mirror here. But yeah, I was so convinced that this was going to look bad just because the quality of it isn't the best. And I stand by that. The quality on this really isn't the best. But as you guys know, I got this on sale price. So for the sale price, I love it. For the original price, definitely not. Like, it's definitely not worth that. You can definitely get something like this on AliExpress or Shein or anywhere like that for half the price. I love the tie-up feature. I know I said before you could crisscross it. You actually can't with this one because if you do, then there's way too much material out here then everything is on show. But it does leave me feeling really secure and it's not see-through around here, which I really love. It's just kind of disappointing that the quality on it isn't the best. Like, I just know that after a couple of washes, it's going to go quite see-through, which is really disappointing. So, it's not an amazing item, I would say that it's probably on par with like Shein. Next up, we have actually a pair of pants, which I never really see on Outcast clothing. I feel like they mainly have like party outfits, beach outfits, festival outfits, but a pair of leather pants were on there and I clearly, I mean, I love leather, so I had to get them. Oh, okay. Not what I expected. So, these are the pants. They are these pleather pants that are ombre. So, they start as red and then they go right down to the color orange. And honestly, I was kind of expecting better material. I ain't gonna cap. I thought that this... Ew, I just sounded like a millennial trying to be Gen Z. I mean, I am Gen Z, but that was gross. I kind of expected better material. I thought that this was going to be nice and thick. These pants that I'm wearing right now are from Pretty Little Thing, but I thrifted them. And these are a thicker material than these pants. So... I don't love that. I really thought that these were going to be like really good quality, but they're not. So that's not the best, but I do really like the design of like the ombre. I think that is absolutely stunning. So let's see how much I pay. So I got these for $26.99, but they usually retail for $89.95, which absolutely ridiculous. There's no way that this is worth $89.95. What the current price? $26.00. Good, happy, I feel like that's worth it. 89, no way. The quality is just not there. It's definitely like an AliExpress quality of items. So yeah, I don't know how they go off charging 90 bucks for these, but let's go put them on. These are what the pants look like on. So this is the front and this is the back. So I've gone for more of an edgier vibe with this. Started with this cute little top that's meant to be a belt that also confuses everyone whenever I say that. By belt, it's meant to like, you're meant to wear a baggy t-shirt underneath and this is like a corset belt type thing and I just don't wear the baggy t-shirt. And then to go with with this I've just paired it with a pair of black boots because I feel like that matches the vibe well. So the pants fit which is first of all amazing and I do really like the ombre style of them. I think they're really cute. It's just the quality that's really disappointing on these. Like it's so thin that I feel like it could rip at any moment and I just obviously don't love that. I am Funnily enough, this is so embarrassing, but I am known for ripping pants. And so these just don't make me feel very good, you know? I don't have a lot of confidence in them. So I'm really disappointed because I did not expect this from Outcast. I thought that all of these items were going to be really good quality, but unfortunately, that just doesn't seem to be the case. For the lucky last item in my review on Outcast clothing, we of course have a two-piece because I love two pieces. So how could I not? So this, first of all, consists of a wraparound top, which y'all know I absolutely adore these. I have way too many for one person, if I'm being honest. Honest. So thankfully my roommate likes them as well because we share them. But so it's just a long strip of material in this really cute blue, um, orange and yellow pattern, which I absolutely love. And this looks to be fairly cute. Like I feel like it's fairly good quality, but it's not amazing. I'm kind of worried that it's going to be see-through just with like my nipples, you know? So before I look at the price, let's open up the skirt as well. Oh, I'm actually 
not loving this skirt. Sorry, this is what the skirt looks like. It mat it's the same material, no, sorry, same pattern and same material, which I love this pattern. I think it's really gorgeous. And it is a mid midi? Is this midi or maxi? No, meant to be a maxi length skirt, which it's gorgeous, but it is extremely see-through. Like, this is really cheap quality. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. Like, it might be okay because it's got the pattern on it, but if this was one block color, it would definitely be see-through. So, this is a really good quality, and also the hemming on it, again, is just really cheaply made. So, these were sold separately. Let's see how much they're charged. This skirt goes for $59.95 Aussie dollars. 60 Aussie dollars, basically. That's ridiculous. And the top goes for six. It goes for $59.95 Aussie dollars. That's ridiculous. This is $120. No. This is not worth $120. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's ridiculous. $120 for this cheaply made set. Thank God I was, again, able to get this for cheaper. So I paid $18 each. So what's that? $36 in total. More what it's worth. But $120 on this, sis. What the hell? <laughs> so let's go try this on and see what we think. This is what the set looks like on. So this is the front and this is the back. So I have styled these with these gorgeous pair of orange chunky heels because I feel like with, actually this haul's making me realize I really need to get some blue heels. I don't own any blue heels. Can y'all believe that? Y'all know I love high heels and I don't own any blue ones. But anyway, I thought that the orange matched with this perfectly and is super cute. So the issue with this isn't so much with the top. Oh, first of all, I've tied the top up a little bit different than how you're meant to. I've just added this little knot here just because it makes me feel a little bit more secure without any fashion tape. If I'm gonna tie it up the way that the model does, like here, I just wanna have some fashion tape to keep everything in place and I don't have any on me right now. So this is an option on how to wear it as well. Leaves are more secure, still looks super cute. But my main issue is with the skirt because it's just so cheaply made. I cannot believe the price that they were charging for this because it's just absolutely ridiculous. Like it's just not well made at all. Look at that. You can see by this how cheap quality it is, the way it's all stretched. And the elastic on this is really bad, and I just don't feel great with it. It keeps, like, flipping over, which I feel like makes a skirt look so cheap when you can see the elastic around it. And I'm not a snob by any means. Shein is my favorite clothing store. <laughs> like, so I do not care. It's just more that the price point for this when it was full price is just way too much and honestly ridiculous. The price that I paid for it, probably still a little bit much, honestly, for the state of this skirt, but I do really like the design. Design. So don't get me wrong in me saying that it's not good quality. I still plan on wearing this out because I do think it's a very colorful and fun outfit and it's really gorgeous. It's just disappointing that the quality doesn't follow through on this one because that's what's really letting it down. So those are all the items that I bought from Outcast Clothing. So now for my final review. Honestly, I'm pretty disappointed. I've seen so many influencers rocking these outfits, I've seen these everywhere, getting all the ads and I really expected these to be good quality for the price that you're paying because it is quite pricey. But I'm always happy to pay that little bit extra if the item itself is going to be good. You guys know I absolutely adore the store Meshki. They're a little bit more expensive, but the items they deliver are good. And overall, most of these items were not worth the price. I'm very grateful I was able to get them on sale. And I do love that first dress that I got, the Vegas one. I think that's probably worth the price. So maybe in their newer items, they are changing the quality. But overall, I actually wouldn't recommend this store, which really hurts me because I wanted to so badly. So I don't know. Maybe I need to just buy their new items if you guys want to see a part two with just newer items I'll need time to save but you know I can definitely do that but yeah overall for now I don't think I would recommend outclass clothing which breaks my heart because I wanted to so badly but with that be sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week sometimes twice a week and I do these real honest raw reviews so I'll have a playlist linked on more Instagram stores because if you're getting these ads like me I'm sure you're getting the other stores as well also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok as if I'm not on YouTube that is where I am posting. I love you guys so, so much, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.